Hi everyone, welcome to our lead time video. We're excited to share with you some tips on how to maintain your lithium batteries for optimal performance and long-lasting use. Today's video includes three topics. The proper way to store your battery when you're not using it for a while, the preparations before you bring the stored battery back into use, and how to ensure it stays in great conditions during regular use. Okay, let's get started on how to store the battery when it's not in use for a long time. First off, we suggest you to charge or discharge battery to about 50% level. There are three main ways to check battery capacity. The first is by using a monitor with a shunt. It provides a live update to check on the battery's capacity. It way handier as you can see the remaining battery capacity anytime. The second way is a bit more manual, but just as effective. You will need to test the battery's resting voltage with a multimeter and then check the state of charge in the user manual. This will give you a rough estimate of its capacity. The third option is to check via the app. If your battery has Bluetooth, simply download the lead time app and check the battery capacity once connected. After charging or discharging the battery to around 50% level, cut off all connections from the battery. Then cover the insulating cups onto the battery terminals to avoid any metal or conductive stuff touching both positive and negative poles at the same time, which could cause a short circuit. Once you've done all that, we suggest storing the battery in a place where the temperature is between 50 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit and also avoid extreme temperatures and damp conditions. Lastly, make sure to recharge the battery every 3 months to about a 50% level to keep it along nicely. When you're ready to bring the stored battery back into use, we recommend you to take the following steps before using them. Firstly, check the battery casing for any warping, cracks or other signs of damage. If you find any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us to confirm whether the battery can still be used. Next, check whether the battery can be charged or discharged normally. If so, make sure to fully charge the battery before using it. If not, refer to the user manual for instructions on how to activate the battery. Following that, if the battery can charge or discharge as expected, make sure to fully charge it before use. If not, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Finally, make sure to balance the battery voltage. If you're using a single battery, there is no need to balance the battery voltage. You can directly connect it to your device. If you're using a battery system, we recommend balancing the battery voltage before using it. There are two ways to balance the battery system voltage. The first way is by fully charging each battery individually and then connect them in parallel. Once connected, leave them alone for 12 to 24 hours to achieve the voltage balance. The second way is to install a battery balancer, which saves more time than the first way. Ensure all the batteries in the system are fully charged and then connect your battery system directly to a battery balancer for voltage balancing. Moving on to our last part, I'll show you some useful tips for maintaining your batteries during regular use. Tip 1. Avoid immersing the battery in the water and keep it away from the strong magnetic fields or metals while using it. Tip 2. Regularly check the terminals for signs of rust and inspect the wires for damage, deformation or aging. Ensure they are securely connected. Tip 3. For serious systems or serious parallel battery setups without a balancer, we suggest balancing the batteries every 6 months using the method we've just shared. That's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time!